cost how much? I thought you were stupid, friend. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 notable movies that went over budget. Well, that wasn't me. For this list, we're looking at those notable cases where a film production started out with one financial plan, but ended up surpassing it by a mile. We lost, we're good to go now. Whether or not the movie was actually any good doesn't really matter, as long as way too much money was spent. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm letting you out of the deal. Number 10, Alexander, budget $155 million. I've known many great men in my life, but only one Colossus. Oliver Stone's Alexander the Great epic should have been great. Never will there be an Alexander like you, Alexander the Great. It would have been too, if it had had anything perceptive to say about the Conqueror or any action. But shoulda, coulda, wouldas don't get you very far in filmmaking. However, it got Stone far over budget. Excess in all things is the undoing of men. It wasn't just the fact that it only made $34 million in the US. You did well, but you lost. But an entire day's worth of film was lost when Stone walked it through an airport x-ray machine, requiring the reshoot of two and a half hours worth of a pivotal battle. No man or woman could be too powerful or too beautiful without disaster befalling. We'll leave it up to you to decide whether it was worth it. When it's over, all that matters is what you've done. Number nine, Sahara. Budget, $160 million. What? Before Matthew McConaughey decided to focus on Oscar bait, he spent his time in rom-coms and big-budget action comedies like this. That is fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Planned as the first of a blockbuster franchise, Sahara actually did well at the box office by normal standards, debuting at number one. Why? How? I don't know. But $18 million in the U.S. on opening weekend didn't make a dent in the poorly reviewed film's total expenses of an estimated $281 million. It's impossible. And in fact, the movie didn't even bring in half that when all was said and done. They're ignoring me. They're ignoring me. Everybody's ignoring me. Needless to say, plans for a sequel were promptly scrapped. My theory is that they do it because they can. Number eight, John Carter, budget $250 million. My deepest sympathies. Don't let its glossy look and CGI fool you. This Disney movie was a bomb. Show some respect. Director Andrew Stanton had a glowing reputation going into the production, with films like Wally -E and Finding Nemo on his resume. How? The story itself is based on a popular Edgar Rice Burroughs novel. So what went wrong? You spare me. I'll tell you. Some said it was boring, others said it was an Avatar ripoff, but mostly no one saw it. Who is to blame? John Carter is still in the top five of the most expensive films ever made, mainly due to multiple reshoots. It's a little vulgar for my taste, but my opinions are about to become irrelevant. Looks like you've gained some weight. Number seven, Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within, budget $137 million. Hang on, everybody. Based on the popular role-playing video game series, this movie was the first photorealistic CGI feature. Don't get smart with me. It also happens to have the honor of being the priciest movie based on a video game ever, with a star-studded cast and expensive computer graphics, driving expense costs to $137 million based on an original budget of $70 million. Hey, don't look at me, it was his idea. But when it came to the visuals, the movie more than exceeded expectations. Yes, really quite astonishing. Unfortunately, movies require more than groundbreaking eye candy. They need intelligence and a story. And according to critics, this one lacked both. Well, now I know. So I'm sorry. Well, me too, so we're both sorry. Number six, The Lone Ranger, Budget, 225 to $250 million. You sure about this? Mm. At one point during filming of this Western action flick, production was almost permanently halted due to budgetary issues. In that case, not so good. They probably should have let it go at that point. But they didn't, and the stars even agreed to concede 20% of their salaries to keep it alive. Why would you ever want to come back here? Based on the popular radio series, the movie had potential. But with Johnny Depp, Jerry Bruckheimer, and Gore Verbinski all attempting and failing to recreate Pirates of the Caribbean's magic, that potential was not met. And instead, we got a hammy and dull box office flop. 
Could be worse. Worse. How could this be worse? Could develop an itch. On your nose. Number five, Waterworld, budget $172 million. You should have stayed on the water. This post-apocalyptic sci-fi epic started with a budget of $100 million, which is pricey enough. Nothing's free in Waterworld. <laughs> but filming in water is notoriously problematic, and Kevin Costner almost died during a shoot. Oh, thank God. Before filming ended, director Kevin Reynolds left, with Costner taking over production duties himself. Was this your big vision? The result was, at the time, the most expensive movie ever made, and its budget caused huge controversy. You guys are in so much trouble. <laughs> and that's not even taking marketing and distribution costs into account. In total, about $235 million was spent on this bloated production, and it only made $88 million back in the U.S. What do you say, Toby? The truth. Looks like shit. Number four, Cutthroat Island, budget $98 million. I'm about to show you something. Though John Carter later snagged the honor away from this film, Cutthroat Island was at one time named by the Guinness Book of World Records as the biggest box office flop ever and one that bankrupted its production company. But that doesn't mean we can't keep talking about it. Starring Gina Davis and directed by her husband at the time, Rennie Harlan. I promise I will take care of you later. The film proves that audiences weren't ready for a swashbuckling heroine, as it cost between 98 and $115 million to make and only earned $10 million at the box office. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't have even satisfied its original budget of $60 million. What do you say, shall we add to this pile here on the deck? Number three, Tangled, budget $260 million. This is all my fault. This movie managed to make back its overblown budget. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm just teasing. Based on the famous Brothers Grimm fairy tale, Rapunzel, its cost ballooned to $260 million over the course of a six-year production due to concept changes and rotating directors. Oh, it's nothing. Then I don't know why it takes so long. Making it not only the most expensive animated film ever, but also the second most expensive film ever in any genre. <gasps> Please don't freak out. <laughs> Fortunately, this Disney movie did have a happy ending as it ended up making almost $592 million around the world and was well-received by critics. You know, I can't help but notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. Disney execs breathed a sigh of relief. And we're living happily ever after. Yes, we are. Number two, Cleopatra, budget $44 million. All hail Cleopatra, kindred of Horus and Ra, beloved of the moon and sun, daughter to Isis, and of upper and lower Egypt, queen. By comparison, $44 million is small time when contrasted with the other budgets on this list. Everything's been paid for by coin. But this movie was released in 1963 and started with a budget of $2 million. Not so reasonable now, huh? We must not disappoint the mighty Caesar. Cost overruns were largely caused by elaborate costumes, lavish sets, and opulent props, all of which had to be rebuilt once production moved from London to Rome. Finances! You make my head hurt when you talk of money, and I'll change the subject. Though the finished product was the year's highest grossing film, Cleopatra is still considered a box office failure since it had no chance of making back its budget which in today's dollars was $339 million. Only through me can you hope to escape from the desperate situation in which you find yourself. Before we crunch the numbers on our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So you got it all figured out, huh?
may be at the end of some big race. When I pull into victory lane, I scoop you up and kiss you. If anyone wishes to depart, under the white flag of surrender, you may do so now. Number one, Titanic, budget $200 million. Facebook, right ahead! On the starboard, starboard! From the man who brought you the also over budget Avatar comes the water soaked epic that stole the title of most expensive film ever from Waterworld. And I'm thankful for that, Rose. I'm thankful. <laughs> Though it's since been surpassed, it's still impressive to think that Titanic's budget doubled from 100 to 200 million dollars. To make me count. To make me count. James Cameron even forfeited his salary to ensure the film he wanted got made. She'll have to pay for that, you know. And that resulted in sick cast members due to cold water, an angry crew member spiking a dinner with PCP, and a three hour cut the studio didn't want. It was promised me that she'll survive. But the end result was the highest grossing film ever. So, worth it. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Do you agree with our list? No. I don't believe you. Did we miss any notably over budget movies? Which one is it? Which one? For more financially challenged top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Okay, all right.